everybody, it's Jill with Angel Creations. Welcome back to my craft room. We're going to have some fun today. We're going to try something a little new. And um, so what it is, is I bought this. It's They call it a pyrography marker. It's a scorch pen. I got it on Amazon. I will try to remember to link it in the description box <laughs> um, below. But uh, we're going to try it out. So I tried to make a um, stencil on the Cricut with some Dollar Tree vinyl and um, it just, I was not getting the, wor oh look, I don't even need to use my heat gun, that sticker is coming right up, easy peasy, love it when that happens. I think I will cut my jute hanger off the top, so we're using this wood round from the Dollar Tree and on this side it has a rainbow but I'm sure if I took my heat gun and my little spatula I could get that off so but we're not going to deal with that right now we're going to use this side oops I had a little bit of a splinter let me give that a little sanding on the edges there just a shush and so, I was telling you, I tried to cut out vinyl from the Dollar Tree, and I don't think it was because it was Dollar Tree. I think it was because it was the, the pattern I was trying to cut out. So, we're going to just use this one from the Dollar Tree that says Farmer's Market, Local and Fresh. We've used it before. And we are just going to tape this right on. We're going to try to center that as best we can. I'm going to just tape it down pretty good. To the board here. If anything, I would want it a little bit lower because we are going to put... A little bit of greenery on top so I'm just taping that down so I think maybe if I had used some kind of plastic you know or um, they actually sell stencil material I think if I had tried um, using a little bit of maybe that would have been stiff and I don't know but when I was weeding the one that I wanted which was very similar to this one um, it, it just was ripping and I could not really get the yeah you know the picture all right so that's what they say to do is sand your surface we did that and then shake the pen and we've done that and now it says that we just trace our stencil let's see and then we're gonna add heat I'm dying to know how this comes out I would love to do some cutting boards maybe as gifts Oh, I just, I'm so rough. And then it says that when you're scorching it with the heat gun, now this is something you probably do need a heat gun for. I would say a hair dryer just is not enough. To burn it, I guess. I guess that scorch it. It has to be a certain temperature, I'm sure, because in order to scorch it. And I know that the heat gun, I have, I have two heat guns. I have the old-fashioned heat gun 
that I bought at Harbor Freight, which is great, but it's a little heavier duty than I really need. So I put that away. That is out in the shed and um, with the other tools. And um, I just am sticking to my little craft one. For one thing, it's easier on my hands because it's not as heavy. All right, now I just have one more word in the chicken. I'm not going to do the local part. So I'm just taking, it's just like a regular marker. And I'm just coloring. I'm just coloring in my words. Trying to stay in the lines. <laughs> And I haven't needed to shake my pen anymore. It's nice and wet. Um, it seems to just flow out. It's not pooling up. It's perfect. I will try my very, very best to put a link to this scorch pen in my description. It's new to me, so let's see how it does before I recommend it, right? All right. Now, the only thing I have left to um, fill in... Oh, I want to do the outline. The outline here. And then the chicken. And I'm not going to do the fresh part, the local and fresh part. I don't know why. I just want it generic. All right. I think all my letters are good. Let me get this chicken filled in and then we will be right back. Okay, that is fun. That is really fun. So here, let's look at what we've got here. It looks yellow. I did decide to do the little I don't know what they are, little greeneries. Didn't do the words, but I did the greenery. So, all right, now we're just going to take our stencil off. Lift it right off our board. Careful with my stencil. I'm just going to put that over there. And this is what we have. So now we just take our heat gun, whoops, and then tools come flying with it. And the more you go over it, let's focus on our chicken first. It starts to scorch. This is exciting. Wow. This would be really cool on a cutting board. Like you could put gram, well, see, that's the thing. In order to stencil it, like I was thinking grandma's favorite bread pudding recipe, right? Look at this. But it's hard to get a stencil unless you hand letter it. So look, before we do any more, look what it's doing for the chicken. Is that cool or what? You can see my, um, picture is not centered well but that's okay so now we're just going to keep on going over the whole thing and scorching it and it says only one coat is necessary and that's all we did with our marker this is so fun you could do monograms Wow, this is going to open up the crafting world a lot to me. Let's think of the possibilities. I think a nice monogram sign with the, your initial in the middle. Um, or a nice welcome. Uh, there's just so much. 
You could even, I mean, if you were brave enough, you could even do something cool on your table or kitchen cabinets up in the corner of each cabinet. What else can we sport? Let's look around. <laughs> this is really fun. I will definitely get a link in the description box for this, Ken. I will definitely recommend it. that's probably dark enough. I think the longer you do it, the darker you can get it. But I think you guys get the idea and I think this is pretty dark. So look at that. Oh my goodness. I love that. Almost looks like a, uh, what do you call it? A brand or look at that. How cute is that? All right. So now let's get this centered, even though it's a little bit off here. And we're going to take some of these I don't know if they're boxwood or what they are they came from a, a big pick I don't even know where I got them so I'm gonna take hmm, those are kind of big actually so maybe we'll go from here and then I'm gonna snip off that and then I'm going to do the same thing with this one. I'm going to go down and snip. Try to get the same height as I did the other one. Alright. I'm going to just snip this bottom piece off. Alright, so what I'm going to do, and I have some berries here. I'm going to mix these berries in. And these are just bits and bobs that I have, but I thought these berries would go really nice with the raw wood. So we're going to add a little bit of these crazy berries, and we're going to add them to each stem. And then we're going to tie jute around. I think I want a little more berry. I want this to have a lot of berry. So I'm going to add two to each side. And I'll fluff up my berries after. So, don't worry about the placement of the berries. It's the stems that we need pretty straight. Because I'm putting my stems together, like so, kind of like a bow tie. And then I'm going to take jute. I'm going to hold my jute. Oops. I'm going to hold my jute with my thumb. And I'm going to wrap and wrap and wrap and wrap like a bow tie. Wrap, 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 wrap. So that we know this is going to hold tight. And I wrapped up my cord that I normally leave out to tie. But that's okay. Uh-oh. No glue stick. Of course we don't have a glue stick. Alright, we're just going to wrap that around until it glues. And that is it for our berries and our greenery. And then I'm just going to make a shoelace bow or a simple bow um, in the middle. Woo, that's hot. We're just going to do a, I think we'll just do a little burlap bow right here. We have a burlap bow. So I am just going to crisscross my ribbon. Let's cut it so we don't have to deal with that. So I'm just going to crisscross it like a, I don't know, I always get, you know, like that. <laughs> And then I'm going to push it down and cinch both, all of it. Does that make sense to you? I'm just going to cinch it all up in the middle. And I don't have great fingers for cinching, but. And then I like to use a little tie wrap, but you could use more jute if you prefer. Still holding it, still pinching it.
make sure before we pull it too tight that our bow is the same on each side. And mine did go a little off center, so I'm fixing it before I pull tight. All right, that is pretty good. And I always need a little plier or something to pull mine as tight as it needs to be. Clip off our excess. And now we're just going to dovetail our little bow ends. This is a cute little bow. I think we'll look in the bits and bobs or maybe some berries to hide our uh, plastic. Or maybe we'll just take some more jute. And we'll do the same thing. We're just going to hold our jute with our thumb. Wrap it a couple of times around our plastic zip tie. Tie our two ends together in the back. Nice and tight. Snip off our ends. Fluff up our bow. It's pretty flat now. <laughs> so cute. Alright. And then we're going to glue that down to the top. And we're going to glue. Before we do that though, let's put our, uh, let's put a hanger in it because we cut off our hanger. So, I'm just going to use one of these toggles that I have left over and I want to use the beads off of um, this little house, uh, what do they call it, a little, they call it a decor. I want to use the be some of the beads off that so I'm just going to put them right on my toggle. They're already black and natural. I love that. So, because our board is natural. And I didn't want to use the whole thing. Oop, they barely fit through here. Um, and so, now this has, this toggle has to go through both times. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> We have to stick it through both times so that both ends are sticking out at the back. And then we have some beads on our hanger, okay? But now we are going to put our, now that we know where that's going to be, we are going to glue down, and I'm going to use a lot a lot, lot, lot. I like it a lot. <laughs> because we really want this. It's kind of hairy with the greenery. We really want it to stay put. So I'm just going to hold that down. And add our bow. And our scorch. Our scorch project is finay. This is so cute. And I wonder, I mean, I think you can just keep scorching, scorching away. I mean, I think that the more you do it, the darker it gets. That's what the pen says. And probably the closer I hold it, the more heat it gets. And you can kind of see where I missed in the chicken with the marker, you know? So it came out rustic. I love that. It's like magic right before your eyes. I don't want to add too much heat up there. I'll be melting my glue again. All right, so now... Let's see, what do I have in here that we could put it? Just maybe to a little bit. I don't know. Just I mean I know we covered it with the 
Anything farmery? <laughs> Anything farmery in here that we can stick on? Well, we're gonna just stick our bow on, but I was thinking, like we have flower, nah. I don't know, there's really a bird, no. Nah. Okay, skip that. We are just going to add our bow right to the middle here. And I'm giving that a good amount of glue as well. really cute really cute I'm gonna fluff these berries make them wild and crazy so they're not all smushed spread them out love those do the same over here while this is sliding around ah. Fluff my berries over here. This one's long. You need to come over here, berry. Spread your wings. Fly. All right. There you go. Really, really cute. Let me hold it up so you can see it. How cute is that? Oh, we can't really see the farmer's market, but still, we know it's there. <laughs> How cool is that? I think that came out really, really precious. I really did. I mean, we could always cut our tails off of our, or make them shorter, but you know what? If we just m move them over... We can tell what it says. Farmer's Market. Adorb. Our little scorch. See, we'll hang it this way. <laughs> Our little scorch test. That was adorable. Could probably do something like that on the back, too. We could write something on the back. Paint. I don't know. Really, really cute, though. I hope you guys like it. I hope it was fun watching me make this. It was really fun making it with you. This is a great time for you to give me a thumbs up. Sharing is caring, so go ahead and share this video with all your friends, family, and social media. And make sure you hit that subscribe button and hit that bell. Hit all if you want uh, YouTube to notify you each and every time I upload a new video. Till the next time I see you, be good and do good. Bye now.